Good evening, my dear Mr. Mayor. May I interest you in a fortune? It will only cost you a penny. Fate will call when the clock strikes twelve. You'll burn like the sun with no one to help. So enjoy your final moments, if you can. What is this nonsense? How dare you threaten me in such a manner? I demand my penny back! I demand an explanation! instead of hell! I saw it. It was a dragon, I swear. It was the organ grinder. He's brought a curse to Grey Sand.
thank you. I thought I was doomed. It was foolish of me to buy a card from the organ grinder. He's getting revenge for what happened to him all those years ago. I'm sure of it. I still remember that day. We should have never listened to the mayor. Please, take the card and the bomb. They're the only things I can offer to help you with your investigation. The man of the law who closed his eyes. He stood like a statue while somebody died. You will be claimed by stillness for all time. <laughs> The city owes me a debt, and it's time to pay. Listen closely, you miserable human. I have but two desires, blood and riches. Blood I have already savored today. But if you want to pass, you must find me treasure and hurry. Patience is not a virtue I possess.
to play by my rules. <laughs> Welcome, detective. I see you found the courage to get this far. Surely you deserve a reward for your tenacity. How about a story? It's a true tale that happened many years ago. In a small town, there lived an organ grinder named Nigel and a dancer named Carol. Nigel's music, powerful and pure, like a tear from a child, brought happiness, and those listening to it forgot all about their sorrows and grudges. Carol's dance, passionate and light, like the flight of a butterfly, purified thoughts and souls, and made any passerby tremble in awe. Fate united these two, music and dancing merged into one, and every performance of Nigel and Carol turned into the brightest miracle. Sparkles of inspiration kindled the fire of love in their hearts. There were no two people who were happier. The mayor of the town saw their happiness and dark anger grew in his nasty soul. He lost it for the dancer and decided to get rid of the organ grinder. At the instigation of the mayor, the banker spread false rumours about Nigel, and the Lord prepared the crowd. One evening, during one of their performances, the mayor accused Nigel of black magic to the horrified screams of the crowd. Alas, the authority of the mayor came before law and truth. The gendarme, representing justice, didn't step into the scene. The hunter, 
the organ grinder's friend turned scared like a rabbit. The outraged crowd couldn't be stopped. Stone after stone was flung at the falsely accused one. One fatal stone hit the organ grinder in the head and his eyes closed forever. In a single moment, Nigel was deprived of what was most valuable, happiness, love, and life. Ponder over this story, detective. Carol was a dancer who loved to perform in the city square. She didn't earn much, but she knew that her dancing appealed to the spectators. They became more cheerful, forgot about their problems, and for a brief moment, seemed to enjoy life. That was the best reward for her. At one of the performances, she met Nigel, who was completely astonished by her dancing. She knew he played the barrel organ here at the city square, but that day, he stopped so he didn't distract citizens from her amazing dancing. Then, she suggested to him that they perform together. The two of them had a tremendous effect. The captivating sound of the barrel organ and the beautiful dancing mesmerized onlookers. Nigel and Carol performed together often and became more than just musical partners. They came to believe they were soulmates. They fell in love. Alicia. It was my house, but now it turned alive and won't let me out. I like the melody the organ grinder played, and when he was handing out cards with predictions, I really wanted one. I was very upset when he refused to give me a card, but then I saw that he dropped one accidentally. I wish I'd never picked it up. It was cursed, and I'm so scared now. darkest night you felt afraid of house creeping round like snakes. Today you'll know it is true. The blanket won't help you through. At midnight punishment will come. The house prison turns you numb. This child is innocent. She got the cursed card by mistake. She wasn't meant to get the card, but I am the heart of the house, and I can't go against the curse. If you find three runes, you will have the chance to save the girl. Go! I believe you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> 